Belgium's Remco Evenepoel made history on Saturday, becoming the first male cyclist to claim gold in both the road race and time trial at the same Olympic Games. Paris, a city well-versed in putting on a spectacular show as the traditional endpoint of the Tour de France, once again provided a stunning backdrop for this monumental event. Evenepoel's victory not only showcased his remarkable talent but also added a new chapter to Paris's rich cycling history, marking an unforgettable day in Olympic sport. The 24-year-old attacked relentlessly in the final stages as the peloton completed three climbs of Cate de la Butte Montmartre, leaving his rivals in his wake and etching his name into the history books. Crossing the finish line, I realized I just became the double Olympic champion in one week, something I could only dream of, Evenepoel told CNN, as a small kid, just watching the Olympics every four years, watching Usain Bolt, Michael Phelps, all the big names. Seeing them receiving the medals was just crazy and now being there myself with two gold medals is really out of this word and I need to realize that it's very special. I am just very proud and very happy. The race began at the Trocadero on Saturday morning with a record low field of 90 competitors, all prepared to tackle the event's longest ever course. The route showcased Paris' historic landmarks, with enormous crowds lining many of the French capital's streets to cheer on the cyclists. However, it wasn't until the closing stages that the peloton truly came alive. Inside the final 40 kilometers 25 miles, Evenepoel broke away from a peloton that included top rivals like Matthew van der Poel of the Netherlands. He quickly caught up to a group of breakaway riders and then pushed ahead, essentially turning the race into a time trial. As the kilometers ticked down, Evenepoel continued to extend his lead. He dropped France's Valentin Maduas, the eventual silver medalist and local favorite, with 15 kilometers 9 miles to go. His dominance was clear, yet the race held one final twist, a rear tire puncture in front of the Louvre, less than 4 kilometers to 0.5 miles from the finish. The setback briefly threatened his lead, but despite a brief panic as a flustered mechanic rushed to the scene with a spare bike, nothing could stop Evenepoel from claiming gold. It was a pretty stressful moment because I was not too sure about the time gap. Just before that moment they showed me a sign that said 25 seconds, which was incorrect of course, Evenepoel said. I just wanted a new bike as quickly as possible and to arrive at the finish line. So, Luckily everything turned out in a positive way because it would have been a pretty sad moment if it would have taken away the victory. Crossing the finish line more than a minute faster than his nearest rival, Evenepoel had time to savor his victory. Dismounting and celebrating with arms outstretched in the shadow of the Eiffel Tower, this iconic image will undoubtedly become one of the defining moments of these games, symbolizing the dominance of one of cycling's biggest stars. It's probably the closest Olympics to my home that I will participate in, so to win both golden medals is pretty special and something I need to cherish for my whole life," he said. Born in the town of Alst, near Brussels and less than 200 miles from Paris, Evenepoel experienced what felt like a home victory, with Belgian flags dotting the entire route. This close proximity to home made his Olympic gold even more special. I think there were more Belgians on the road than French people, Evenepoel said. It was a madhouse out there and I think without all the support and the energy boost that it gave, it the victory was not going to be possible. I am very happy and a big thank you to all the fans who came out for us. One of the many fans along the roads was Gil Deweese, 37. We saw him passing by two times and he was really fast, I think we saw history. A double Olympic champion, it's just incredible, Deweese said. Evenepoel's triumph in Paris comes just weeks after his first podium finish in the Tour de France, adding another illustrious chapter to his burgeoning career. At just 24, he continues to cement his legacy as one of cycling's most extraordinary talents, with many more victories likely to come.